The Supreme Court is expected to rule on whether a pandemic policy that's been used to turn back migrants can be extended or allowed to expire. Several border states say they're overwhelmed by the influx of migrants and they warn the situation is about to get worse. Madeline Rivera reports from Washington. What you're seeing at this Border Patrol Processing Center in El Paso, Texas, is only the tip of the iceberg, local and state officials say. The video taken by Congressman Tony Gonzalez Friday shows extreme overcrowding, 4,600 migrants in federal custody in a facility that only holds a capacity of 1,040 people. 400 Texas National Guard members have been deployed to the city, which is now under a state of emergency. We've been asked to expand our coverage to include El Paso uh, to help DPS and local law enforcement uh, secure uh, the area of the border where you see a lot of migrant activity right now. El Paso is one of several cities along the U.S.-Mexico border scrambling to prepare for a flood of migrants ahead of the termination of Title 42. The pandemic-era policy imposed by former President Trump in 2020 allowed border officials to quickly remove migrants to prevent the spread of COVID. But it was set to end on Wednesday until the Supreme Court stepped in Monday, blocking an order that would lift the restriction. 19 GOP-led states had asked the high court for an emergency stay that would keep Title 42 in place. When Title 42 ends, we're going to see an absolute explosion. With Title 42's termination on hold, the Department of Homeland Security is urging Congress to provide border security funding and pass comprehensive immigration measures. If Congress wants to um, turn people back around or stop allowing people to make asylum claims, then they have to make that change in the law. For its part, the White House says it's surging resources to the border and insists the border is not open. In Washington, Malvar Vera, Fox 32 Chicago.